Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Tuesday, March 15th. Breaking news, it is official. The SBA announces that they've deferred EIDL repayments, the EIDL repayment start dates. This is huge news. It's what we suspected in the last few days, but it's been officially announced. I'm gonna go through the details here very briefly, and I'll show you how you can check your EIDL first payment date yourself to see this change live in action. I'll keep today's video quick. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new, thanks for subscribing and joining our community. And be sure to like this video so other small businesses see this good news. You know, last week we broke the news that several senators wrote a letter to Isabel Guzman asking her to extend the first payment due date. Remember, the original EIDL payments were due one year after loan origination. So if you got a loan in May 2020, originally your first payment was going to be due in May 2021. When Isabel Guzman was sworn in last spring, she extended it for another year, giving two full years for repayment. But several senators wrote this to Ms. Guzman, citing the uncertainty that still exists for millions of small businesses as a reason to push back the first payment date even further. Several senators signed it. I'll link to that video above. Then over the weekend, I shared the news that the repayment dates for many had already been extended on the SBA portal. Here's the example I shared, the original date of May 8th, 2020, and the next installment due date of November 8th, 2022. That's a full 30 months. So even though there had not been an official announcement, many of us suspected that this is what was happening, a six month extension. The important point here I made is that interest is still accruing, so you should always keep that in mind. I pointed out the fact that if this was your case where you took out a half a million dollar EIDL loan, when your first payment is eventually due, you will be paying most of that first payment towards interest. If you pay $2,500, $1,500 will go towards interest, $1,000 towards the principal. So the interest is significant, but these first large payments have been deferred. That's what you saw on the portal. And today it was made official. Today, Isabel Guzman, head of the SBA and the voice for America's 32.5 million small businesses, directed the agency to provide additional deferment of principal and interest payments for the existing COVID EIDL program. Okay. This is for EIDL loans for a total of 30 months. So basically an increase from 24 months that existed up to 30 months for all approved COVID idle loans. This extended deferment period will provide additional flexibility to small business owners impacted by the pandemic. So there's a few more important points that have come out of this press release, but just a reminder, we are counting down how much EIDL funding is left because according to our data, nearly 30% of you are still trying to get more EIDL funding. You know, the max loan is $2 million. Many businesses, whether they know it or not, are eligible for more EIDL funding. So we put up this timer. There's about $29 billion left, a little more than that. This is based on what we've heard from the SBA. That means there's exactly one month of EIDL funding left. So if you need more funding, now's the time. We would love to help you. You can book a time to talk with one of our experts. We've helped over 10,000 businesses directly get over a billion dollars in COVID idle funding and idle grants. Go to helloskip.com slash join. You'll land on a page like this. Choose the premium option, or if you really want in-depth support and you're serious about it, choose the VIP option. Let me continue on the press release. Some key information regarding this deferment. Borrowers may make partial or full payments during the deferment period, but are not required to. So you can start to make payments, but you don't have to. The first step, of course, is seeing your record, your balance info, and when your next payment is due to double check for yourself. You can go to eidlpay.com. That's a domain we bought that redirects to the specific SBA page where you can log in and see this. So we tried to make it easy for you to check eidlpay.com. Another note, the SBA will not send monthly SBA form 1201 payment notices. However, the SBA will send regular payment reminders via email. 
existing COVID idle borrowers can find account balances, like I just mentioned, in the SBA Capital Access Financial System. Again, it's a long domain, so you can go to eidlpay.com and it will redirect to this website. And of course, after this deferment period ends, borrowers will be required pending another deferment. But as of now, it looks like 30 months may be the final deferment, but we'll see how things go with the economy, any variants and supply chain disruptions if that gets extended yet another time. But for now, you should expect to start making payments 30 months from the origination date of your note. So for many of you, that may mean starting in November or December of this year. That's today's quick breaking news update. Again, if you've checked your repayment date, have you seen the change here yet? Are you still waiting for EIDL funding? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. As always, thanks for liking this video. You support not only myself, but our entire team who works tirelessly to bring you breaking news and important news to help you and your small business. Of course, if you want EIDL help or funding help, helloskip.com slash join. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.